Spam emails are the STDs of the internet. They look at your contacts and start spamming them too with nonsense business opportunities and shit. I have a business email address for YouTube or network or whatever related matters. I don't know how they find it, but they keep spamming me nonstop. First off, every day I get like five Russian mail order bride emails. Look, I know I'm not doing really well with the ladies, but I am not going to take a mail order bride from Russia. Now there's anything wrong with Russians, of course, that's not what I meant, but I'm not gonna do that. And then, of course, every day I get these new weight loss pills. Internet, are you saying I'm fat? After my last pneumonia, I'm pretty much underweight. I weigh 70 kilograms. I do not need to lose any more weight. And for some reason, I keep getting penis enlargement pills. Do you think I need- okay, I kinda need those, but just kidding, it's average. I looked it up online, but occasionally I do get an email for a YouTube-related matter, and I'm like, yes! And it turns out to be a multi-channel network that wants me in their network because they think my videos are good, or so the email says. And I read that entire, of course not a draft email, and I find out it is in fact a draft. And how do I know that? Well, first I analyze it thoroughly, and I notice that everything is in the same font type, except for my name. For example, it would be like, Dear Quinton, we would like to introduce you to our multi-channel network. Or they actually put in Lightfeather MC, which is dumb. My channel and my brand has been named Lightfeather for years now. It used to be Lightfeather MC when I played Minecraft Let's Plays like three years ago, and it's still my Google Plus name. So that means they actually go through my Google Plus, which people obviously use, of course. I actually do, but... And they're like, this person is Lightfeather MC, um, send them the mail. Meaning that they like my video, after seeing absolutely none of my videos. But maybe you can't relate to the ones I've summed up right now. But I think once in your life you have received this email that says something like Did you know there are really hot single girls in your area that want to have sex with you? Because I keep getting those every day. I even got an invitation to a website which was like a Facebook spin-off, but instead of Facebook it was called F Word Book. I tend to not swear on my channel, so yeah. Why do they keep sending me this? And another thing I keep getting. Offers to go on a vacation. Shall I tell you how many times a year I go on vacation? None! I don't! I go like once every three years or something and it's like a couple of days. But I keep getting messages like, You can go to Turkey now! And you can go to Japan now! Just bye! And I'm like, but why do you keep going to me? I am not at all your target audience. I'm 18 now, but it already started when I was like 15. Yeah, I'm like 15 and I go to uh, to like a very distant country uh, on my own. Yeah, I'm gonna pay that myself with my uh, newspaper round money. Uh, and of course, that good old prince from some country in Africa that just found out you are his last living relative. But it turns out he's actually very rich. But the poor fella is dying. Who is he gonna leave his money to? Wait. Since you're his last living relative, it has to be you, right? But oh no, in order to transfer the money, for some reason he needs more money. So the only thing you need to do to get those millions and millions of dollars from your long lost living relative in Africa is to wire him some money. And for some reason, people actually fall for this. Okay, those emails are about as believable as having one of those you are the one million visitor to this website, click here to win a free iPad advertisements. And even people fall for that one. But look. Luckily we have a spam folder that takes out all of those emails. And emails I actually want. Sometimes I get a very interesting email, maybe it be a business opportunity or a newsletter I actually subscribe to and I never see it. Because internet is like, this is obviously spam. Which it also does to my email address. Since my email address is an at lightfeather.org domain because that's my website, a lot of email clients think that it's a spam email address because it's not one of those big Gmail, Hotmail kind of things. So I actually need to send a second message to people when I offer them like a business opportunity because my actual business opportunity has ended up in their spam mail! Maybe you notice that I'm actually quite annoyed by this. So do you ever get spam mails or mails in your spam box that actually belong to you? And what kind of spam mails do you get? Please let me know down below in the comments. And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. I post opinions or rants or stories like this on Saturday to get to know each other a little bit better. And on Wednesday, I post sketches or cinematics or a combination between the two. All of that to let people know that it's awesome and okay to be yourself and to be unique because you are awesome the way you are. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And like I always say, just be unique. You're awesome the way you are.